So here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you about something else. Um, I'm, you're going to be doing a clinic with dressage riders? Well, whoever shows up. Mm -hmm. Do you do, is there something you do differently with people who are riding uh, dressage or from people who are riding western or is it all the same thing? It don't matter what the horse is used for. Mm -hmm. If just the handling, in a way, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. And that's all I do. It don't matter who shows up. We work on the handling of it. That's a sad thing about people that are only interested in horse shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell people there's many ways of enjoying your horse besides a horse show. Mm -hmm. But a lot of <coughs> people make their living that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not condemning them. I've said it many times. Over the last six years, that the horse shows have ruined more good horses than they ever made. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that I'm condemning them, but that's just the way it. Mm -hmm. They're not thinking of anything but winning. And a lot of people that are interested only in horse shows. Mm -hmm. The horse is only a tool. For a lot of people. Now, it isn't that way with everybody, but for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ever since I can remember, I've loved the horse. Mm -hmm. And I still do. And I've tried to look for the good in the horse. Mm -hmm. I think that helped me understand the horse better. And as I get older, I realize how important that is to look for the good in people. Um, I notice one thing, though, that a lot of times people will ask you a question. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they're listening to the answer. But, but then they'll say something that indicates that they didn't really hear what you said. That's right. How do, you, how do you deal with that? How do you feel when that happens? All I'm trying to do sometimes, um, what answer they get is maybe help them get started on trying to figure something out. Mm -hmm. they, that has to come from the person, mm -hmm. from the inside of that person. Mm -hmm. I can't put it there. Mm -hmm. I could talk to Doomsday. Mm -hmm. and it, it wasn't getting through to the person so that they begin to apply themselves or just as well not show up. Mm -hmm. And these people here, in the first day is all I try to do is to get acquainted with what I see within the horses and the people. The second day we try to get something done. But what goes on the first day is a big help to the second day. Mm -hmm. And the third day is just what you're seeing here. I'm trying to leave these people more on their own except on special cases. Mm -hmm. And I, I kept checking here to see if those people were d drawing on themselves. Some of them were, some of them were just sitting around a while. Maybe then they'd get to doing something. And I tell people, if they come to the clinic expecting they're going to learn a whole lot, they're just as well stable. Mm -hmm. But if they come here expecting to be exposed to a lot of different things, and then when they get home, it's where the real learning comes in. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know, I've seen people that seem like they were getting a pretty good start. 
but they didn't follow up on it. Pretty soon it was back where the trouble spot was to start with. Mm -hmm. And I bet you can see that coming, can't oh, you? Oh, and it's just plain as the rocks on the hill there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what I thought.